been a lot of drama on the DP World Tour over the weekend. It just wasn't that Ben and Tom Kim playoff. Sounds as though there was a little bit of drama in the locker room afterwards. Let's take you back to what actually happened on the golf course at Jack Nicklaus Golf Course in Incheon, Korea. Tom Kim had lipped out a putt for a playoff and then did a little bit of damage. According to the Yonhap News Agency, this was his locker. The door removed in something of a temper tantrum. All right, so Tom Kim did issue a statement today. It read in part, quoting, After the loss, I was frustrated. Yes, absolutely. But I can assure you with absolute truth that I had no intent of damaging any part of the locker, not a single bit. I addressed it with the DP World Tour and the KPGA right after the incident, saying that the door came off. We had to fully pull it out due to safety reasons. I also let them know that I was willing to pay all expenses for the damage, there has also been speculation about disciplinary action. I spoke with the tour immediately after the incident, after my apology and offer to pay damages. <laughs> the matter was considered closed. Close quote. So, Eamon, what's your take? Don't you love those phrases? The door came off, as though it just accidentally came off in his hands. And then for, as an act of humanitarian kindness, he takes it all the way off at that point. I mean, this isn't exactly a big deal. I mean, you can throw a stone on tour and you'll hit guys who've damaged and, and wrecked locker rooms. Um, it, it does play into this idea of, you know, Tom Kim, is at least he's showing a little bit of passion out there, which we like to see. We certainly saw that at the President's Cup. There are times, though, when it gets a little bit much, and the President's Cup spats that he got into with members of the US team, I don't think, did him any favours. But there was a, an incident at the FedEx St. Jude Championship during the FedEx Cup playoffs, which to me was more troubling if we're getting into temper tantrums. Here he is missing a putt and then takes a divot from the green and walks away, leaving that for others to deal with behind him. To me, that's where you kind of... It's easy to find that balance, or tough, I suppose, to find the balance between pouting and professionalism. In St. Jude Championship, he was on the wrong side of that. This isn't exactly a capital offence. It happens all the time. He's owned up to it, pay the bill, grow up, move on. Yeah, I'm, my perspective on it is that everybody needs to chill out. Tom Kim is 22 years old. Did he slam his locker too hard? Obviously, yes, he did. But the effort to label him a problem child, I think, is also too much, too. He's an athlete. He was upset. He did something stupid, and he said he was sorry. We watch athletes all the time throw helmets and fling bats, and that's the street cred of passion, right? We literally have a phrase in golf called trunk slamming. Look, if you think Tom Kim is the first to jar loose the screws on a locker door, go sit with a few of the old timers that Eamon was talking about. I remember Arnold Palmer telling me a story that after throwing a golf club, Tommy Bolt chided him that if you're going to throw a club, you have to throw it in front of you so that you can pick it up on your way. And remember Arnie once fined Davis Love for slamming a sprinkler head at Bay Hill with his putter, which started a gazer out there for everyone. We're going to continue this conversation with Golf Channel senior writers. Golf Today Roundtable, Rex Hoggard, Ryan Lavner joining us. Rex, I want to start with you. What do you make of this Tom Kim incident? It sounds like Thomas the Tank Engine has a little bit of trouble letting his steam off. Oh, I was praying you were going to start with me on this one, Eamon, because <laughs> my take on this is intent. That word intent is lifting a lot in that statement. When you talk about intent, this sounds like a conversation I have with my kids all the time, and they're right around Tom Kim's age. So I can certainly understand where he's coming from. And having played a lot of bad golf with Ryan Lavner on the other side of that screen, I think both of us will admit that we've had our moments on the golf course and then even off the golf course where anger has come into this. I'm kind of with you. This is a whole lot of nothing. However, I will say this. How you handle it does speak a little bit here. And I will go back to, you guys were just telling stories back in the old days. I'll just go back to 2013. Henrik Stinson, if you remember back at the BMW Championship, broke not only a locker in the locker room, but he also broke his driver in the process. And this was a masterclass when he was asked about it afterwards. His take was, I needed a driver with less spin. That's the way you handle that. Rex, I think it's only interesting in the sense that if you're keeping score at home, this is the third apology that Tom Kim has, has had to issue in the last three months. You've referenced the damage in the green during the FedEx Cup playoffs. He had to apologize to U.S. Captain Jim Furyk and some of the uh, American uh, players after suggesting that they were showing poor sportsmanship during the President's Cup. And now he's apologizing after damaging his locker. I think Tom Kim is certainly showing his age of 22. He you know, essentially would have just wrapped up his senior year of college uh, had he gone to school uh, in the States. He's not the first player who has struggled with this sort of things. I mean, Scotty Scheffler, Brooks Kepka were hotheads in college. 
John Rahm, you know, famously had some temper tantrums earlier in his pro career. You know, it's not up to Scotty or Jordan Spieth in Dallas to sort of take Tom Kim under their wings and change him. It's up to Tom Kim to sort of take personal accountability for himself in his career.